Hello there, beautiful people, and oh, welcome back again to On Our Channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, and working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment. I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And please bear witness for that because I made over 250 videos of Shopify customization. They were mostly requested by you guys. Now I know some people are not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. So don't hesitate, man. If you have any video requests or any questions, just drop me a comment below. I will be happy to provide you information you need or even make a video for you. And yeah, you don't have to subscribe, or maybe now you should consider doing so, because if you don't, you lose. Now it's a very different chapter on this channel. I usually share small customizations, but now I'll be sharing complete sections and widgets highly customizable to make a Shopify store very unique and professional without having to rely on those expensive teams or hiring those expensive developers, or even worse, paying for those monthly subscription applications that will drain your money and is not a very good idea for long-term projects. But I give you a better deal, scroll down to the channel, check out the videos and sections I'm sharing, now let you decide, now I respect your decision. But now, let me fulfill again one of the most requested videos, which is how to hide a specific product from the search on your Shopify store without using any applications by using your own code. And it works on both. If you are using Down Team or one of the previous teams, which is Refresh, Spotlight, Sense, and so on, or if you, want, if, if you are using Horizon Team or one of the newer versions, no worries, it works for all of them. But I will provide you with two codes, one for Horizon and the other new variants, and the second code is for the uh, Down Team and Sense and the other variants. And yeah, it takes a lot of time to build stuff like this and figure out things and stuff. I would appreciate if you hit that like button. It's really easy and free and also leave me a comment. I do reply to each comment, so I would reply to you as well. And that will motivate me actually to share more free things with you guys. Without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is Shopify down team. I always start with completely new team, nothing on it. And each video adds more customizations, but video like 70 to 60, the team will be completely different. But now I think I'll reach that level halfway. For example, check out this all-in-one reviews carousel that shows reviews from multiple sources and filterable by tab. And also scroll the logos with fade at the corners, as you can see. Or even better, check out the recent sales on your Shopify store by using your own custom code, no applications involved, and it's highly customizable. And you wanna see something that will make you more money? Check this out. This is the mouse cursor, right? I would act just like I wanna leave or close the page and this thing would show up, which is an abandoned cart, pop-up reminder that remind the user how many products he added to the cart and he didn't check out. And it shows up when the user trying to close the page or leave. So he can pay you the money he owes you. And all of this by using your own custom code, no monthly subscription applications whatsoever. Let me close this, and there is many more I cannot mention in one video. This one has so many stuff. This, actually, this product, just the product page has so many stuff. So we will do demonstration on the newer team. But as I said, this trick works on all of the teams. So let me close this one. And the first thing we're going to do, let me access uh, Horizon so we can pick which product we want to hide. So I can show you that it actually works. So let me scroll. Uh, oh, by the way, the hover effect, as you can see, I did that. Uh, actually, it's not how it's shadow effect, sorry. So let me access this product. For example, I wanna remove this product from search. So it will not be visible on the search and cannot be found through the search, which is a chakra bracelet. So if I search, use the search bar in here and type in chakra, I can find it. Here it is, chakra bracelet, as you can see. How to hide it? No worries. So we will close this, do the trick, come back and test it in action. So get back to Shopify dashboard. If you are in Shopify dashboard, click on an online store from here, then click on teams, then click on the three dots to left of customize and click on edit code. But I will be doing demonstration on Horizon team instead. So I'm gonna do it in here. And also the steps are exactly the same. The only thing required to do is copy and paste. You know how to do copy and paste? That's the only thing you need in this video. On all my tutorials actually, I try to find the simplest things to do the most complex things. And you will see that. So let me click on edit code. Then it will open up the code editor for your Shopify team. And in here we need to find specific files just so you don't get confused. The first thing we're going to do, scroll down the description box and you will see a link. My website, simply click on it, completely free again, then download a zip file. A zip file will contain two folders, or actually, let me show you what I'm talking about. This one's right here, as you can see, these two folders. So by the name, maybe you can tell what this is. So this is down team and the other variants, which is refresh, spotlight, sense, and so on. And this one, horizon and the other variants. The other variants that were was released with horizon. So 
This is based on you now, which one you're using and which one you want to implement the trick on. For, for example, if you are using down, open up down team, you will find this one. If you're using horizon team, then open up this one. So I'm using horizon team. So I'm going to do the trick on horizon team first, then I'll show you down. So the next thing we're going to do is we need to find these two files in here, which is a search result. So I'm going to actually drag this down. Uh, in here, then I'm gonna use the uh, the search bar in here to find search dash results. So simply, I'm gonna use the search bar at the top left corner, then search dash results, and we'll show you the file in here, which is a section in sections folder. That's very important. Here it is, as you can see. Then simply click on it. A lot of code will show up in here. No worries. Get back in here. Then open up this with any this file right here which is the same name uh, search dash results with any text editor on your computer then copy the whole code inside it then simply get back in here if you are using windows click on Control a i'm on mac i'm going to click on command a with highlight the whole thing in here then simply delete it and paste in the code that you did copy from my uh, zip file that contains the same exact name which is search dash results that's very important now just click on the save button but wait we didn't finish we, we didn't finish yet so get back in here and we need to find the other one which is this one as you can see simply copy the name for it you don't have to type it which is predictive search products so simply pass in the name for it in here and here is this one inside snippets which is predictive dash search dash product dash list click on it a bunch of liquid file will show up then the same exact step click on the code Control a delete the whole code get back in here and open up this one with any text editor copy the whole code inside it then close it then paste it in the file that's very important we didn't finish yet one last step so click on the save button we finished with the code now no more code get back in here and simply hit to the product that you want to hide from the search in my case as i said i want to hide this one chakra bracelet so i'm gonna search for it so i'm gonna search for chakra bracelet here it is so this one so after that simply hit back to the uh, tag section right here and simply add the tag hidden that's very important simple right hidden just like you see on the screen right now then click on add then after that click on the save button just make sure it's here double check as you can see hidden now after you click on the save we will get back in here reload the page so make sure the changes apply let's just reload the page okay now the page is reloaded and as you can see the product is still here but let's just see if we can find it through the search so let's just use the search bar and let's just type in shaker no products found as you can see there is no product that has the name chakra as you can see but we can see it in here if i <laughs> scroll down here it is as you can see but you cannot find it through the search anymore even if you type in the full name and hit enter the search result page will not show up not show the product and how to do that for them that's very simple simply get back to the file let me open up the file this one as you can see down team has only one file which is main dash search dot liquid so the same exact step but instead of replacing two files on down you only have to replace one file which is main dash search dot liquid inside the sections folder that was very simple and hit back to the product and add the same tag which is hidden and that product will be hidden from the search result and the search bar and that's how you add specific products from the search on your shopify store by using your own custom code as you can see and it's very simple just copy and paste if you have any questions make sure to drop them below but for now i think my job is done so thanks for watching catch you on the next one